of that. I mean, Piquet is quite young and he still has future in front. So it was a good start for him beating Lubitsch here. I mean, I was a bit more lucky today to pull it out. Did you feel that when you returned his points? Six of eight serve where you just aced him too straight. Do you feel that that was the confidence? Was Breaker at that point? That you got, uh, in fact, you should, for his serve, he didn't return yours at the end. Uh, you mean well, when M6 three or? Exactly, 6 three. You no, I mean facing three match points down. I mean that not much can be done. And I mean if I even put two aces, he could just put one more ace on, on his serve and it's gone. So. Right, when you returned it, did you sense, hey, I put this one in play, he's going to probably crack it? Uh, no, it was nothing like that. Because, I mean, he played the tiebreak really well. And he didn't really seem that he's going to choke or in some way he's going to underestimate it. So he was playing really well. And the mistake he'd done was actually unexpected for me. What was the overall atmosphere like out there? I mean, it was... Um it was nice. I mean, except that... Uh, 99.9% .9 of the people <laughs> were against me, but it was nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, That's got to be a learning experience, I would Well, I mean, I'm playing Davis Cup, so I quite know the atmosphere is going around. So there's nothing can be done about it. I mean, if people are supporting one person, you just cannot, I mean, tell them, guys, cheer for me. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm glad that they did really appreciate some nice points. We played that they really clapped for both sides more or less, so it was fair. How did the, the rain delay uh, affect you? I mean, you came out, you held your serve, but then obviously he came back. And uh, well, actually, the longer in the rain delay wasn't any good for me because I felt more stiff when I got back on the court. I was really a bit, you know, I would say dead. <laughs> so it was really hard time for me to get back into the, the rhythm, and um, yeah, he used it. I mean, I've, I've done some big mistakes on my serve, and he broke me. He, he just took his chance. But the, the crowd, the crowd did cheer you when you shook the cameraman's hand. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> that was bad. I mean, I hit it hard. I just missed completely, misreturned it, and I hit it hard. And I saw that the guy just fell, <laughs> fell off the chair there. <laughs> I felt sorry for him. How surprised were you by Ryan, and, and how much had you seen of him? Well, the thing is that when you're facing a player that you never seen playing before, you always, you know. You were you don't know what you can expect, and if he's beating even Lubitsch in the first round in four sets, then I mean your expectation is going up a bit bigger because uh, it's not easy to beat even on hard court. So uh, I was expecting him, and basically what I expected did he played the way I expected. So he come in a lot, and uh, he got a great serve, you know, moving really well around. So it was really long and and tough match today. What do you think of his potential? Um, well, to do good to him, I'm not going to say any good of him, because uh, usually, you know, when the young guys coming up, I mean, and they have all this publicity, and uh, everybody's saying that they're going to be, they're going to be, they're going to be, and in the end, they just, you know, they're just losing it. So, I would say that he got a huge amount of work to do, a huge amount of work, <laughs> like hours and hours of practice. But he got a great potential. Are you still a little bit stunned that you did? win this match in the end after being down three points after the back and forth and back and forth that kind of ended so quickly in your mind? No, actually, I cannot really, I mean, I can't really be angry on myself on, in the fifth set because uh, I've done two mistakes on my serve. I lost it when I was break up, and then I've done one mistake in tiebreak, and I was in the three. So, I mean, I can't really say that I was playing or I, I missed that some easy shots, which put me in that position. So, I'm just lucky to pull it out as a winner in the end, I think. How hard was it with the crowd? Hey, you made that. Right well, uh, it was not easy. And if, if I would say that I just spent another eight hours in the last three days on court again, and today was another four hours, so it was not easy at all. It was just uh, you know a lot of pressure in there. And they were screaming, and then when the court was slippery, they started booing. I mean, I understand everything, but I don't understand booing when I... <laughs> when the court is slippery and you can twist your ankle and people just don't understand it. Do you remember a match you played when you lost when you were younger? Maybe you had a chance to win that you really learned from that helped you later on? <sighs> I don't really remember. Uh, maybe I have a short memory, but uh, I don't really remember that I had any big matches like this in uh, my junior career because I didn't have that much chances to 
get any big tournament as a junior, unfortunately. Do you have to tell yourself when the crowd's going like that, it's okay, it's just because he's an American, it's not his first call? Or More or less, you know what you can expect. And uh, it's great that the Americans are supporting their players hard, but I mean, it's part of the game. Well, just to follow up, I know it's kind of a Jewish question, but do you think part of it also is the old Soviet from uh, Ukraine and some way they pulled out the old, I think, you know, those old war wars come back? I'm, I'm just kind of curious if that's the biggest part of it. No, but I, I doubt that there was many players, I mean, there was many people from post-Soviet Union on my match. I don't really think that there were maybe, I heard some <coughs> people during in Russian, so I don't know, maybe 20, maybe 50. But I mean, if there's 50 against, I don't know, how big is grandstand? A couple of thousand, so not easy. Yeah. Sergey, so you, you come in with the coming off the win in New Haven, and you reached your, I think for the first time your first third round in a Grand Slam, yeah. that, if I'm not mistaken. Do you do you feel right now at 24 years of age, and you're coming in with I would think confidence off the off the New Haven win, and, and now in, in, in you know in coming into the third round, do you feel right now that this, this is a big turning point in your career? Well, uh, I would say that it's a turning point for my grandson career because unfortunately before I was not able, or due to bad loss, bad draws, I would say, but it's uh, <laughs> it's an excuse. Uh, I was not able to pass through two rounds, so uh, for me it's a great opportunity to play third round. I wouldn't say that it's a huge turning point in my career. Because New Haven was a second title already this year, so I did one one before, and it was my fourth in total. So I do have some experience in that, and uh, I just uh, still looking for my game, and I'm still trying to get better in the game I'm playing. Sitting here right now, right, coming off the win, um, do, you, do you feel right now that your own expectations of yourself, ha yourself has 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 risen? No, not really. I'm just uh, as long as I'm on court, I'm just trying to win more or less and I'm trying to win every point or you know sometimes put a little show in there but I'm just trying to enjoy and I'm just trying at the moment not to be angry on myself if I'm losing and by far it pay out. <laughs> <laughs> so are you enjoying yourself right? Yeah I do. When he was serving at match point are you surprised he didn't try and hit a harder serve? Uh, well uh it was second serve, I think. It was second, but the first one was very, was very soft as well. Yeah. I don't know. If I where, I, I, seriously, I don't know if it was soft or it was not soft. I just know that he missed it. <laughs> and that was enough for me. So. Sergey, um, you have a very unique style of play. You, um, you both had a, a similar style to your opponent today. Um, what is a complicated, uh, what complicates that style of play for you? What's the most difficult part of your game? Well, for me or for the other guy? For you. In his game? No, just with your own game. It's very precise. You well, on it's quite physical because if you serve and volley a lot, you need to really, first of all, be focused, and then second, you have to be fit because running forward is actually sometimes harder than running side to side. And after four hours, it's not easy at all. And you still have to be focused to finish that volley, and, uh, which I did actually in the fifth set a couple of times. So uh, it's just, uh, just a little physical and Seriously, you have to be in, in, in there every point because, I mean, you know, you just can't miss two easy shots and then you are oh, got to get back in in rallies because, you know, you have to put the, that serve in and you just have to finish it. Yeah, well, uh, but, like, uh, also, like, you use the slice a lot uh, and the chip well, and dro drop shots. You were hitting a well, bunch you of know, drop shots. the game is not giving too much rhythm to the opponent. Unfortunately, <laughs> Ryan is playing the same style. So, <laughs> basically, both of us were having no rhythm. <laughs> we were serving good, so, I mean, some uh, our rallies were not so interesting, I would say, from the baseline as the other matches. But that was just due to because two players of the more or less same style faced each other. Can we have the last English question first? Well, I'll just uh, ask one more follow-up. So what, what, what would you say to, or what would your reaction be to people who would say it would be very refreshing to see your style of play and your matchup against Ryan today? Any comments on that? No, once again, I just oh, think that... Oh, yes, I think uh, the game has been dominated largely by power baseliners for a decade. What, what is your comment about people who say you guys are bright lights for uh, a very exciting, different style of play? Well, I wouldn't say that it's been dominated. I mean, the tennis in the past uh, 10 years get really physical. 